I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. At 36, like, I'm sorry, like, you're gonna say, like, you have time, like, I don't. No one wants to date me. No one wants to date me. It's official. I've come to an age where I'm undesirable. Because now there are men my age that try to approach me and I have to actively withhold the urge to spit on them. So I quickly had to realize that I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time single. Looks has nothing to do with it. Women hitting the wall, why age does matter. I'm David Thorpe, dating coach here in Sydney, Australia, and in this video I'll be exploring the topic of women hitting the wall, which is the realisation women have when they feel they are past their better dating years and things are about to get a lot harder in the context of dating and where they are single. I'll be providing my reaction and analysis to make sense of some fiery, controversial and downright hard to watch clips. Without any further waiting, let's go. Now, I'm going to tell you why older guys date younger women. Initially, I thought that they were dating younger women because younger women were prettier. But I came to understand that, no, there are plenty of older women that will give a younger girl a run for her money, right? Very pretty older woman out there. Looks has nothing to do with it. Ah. Looks has nothing to do with it. Excellent. Well, I shall go to the nearest old people's home and see what I can muster up. <sighs> yeah. Looks and attractiveness is the number one requirement for men. It's how we're wired. It's the number one thing we're looking for. I would say it probably has 50%, maybe even more of our initial impressions of a woman that we want to date. It's, it is the number one thing. Looks has nothing to do with it. Well, that is quite something. Um, she did say about some older women giving young women a run for their money. I would say that is true. There are some definite outliers that I've seen. Um, some women that I would go out with and date, I thought they were in their mid twenties and their mid thirties. So there are some outliers, um, but yes, complete nonsense. Every single guy, every single one told me that the reason that they like dating younger women is because they're easier to deal with. And I was like, what does that mean? Easier to deal with. And they said, well, she doesn't challenge me. It's not always a back and forth, back and forth. I just tell her something and it just is. And life is just much easier that way without someone always challenging you and asking you questions. Translation, younger women are more gullible. So to say younger women are gullible, again, I just feel it's a bit of a defense mechanism for, I presume, a woman who is single. But unfortunately, what she's done here is she's just grabbed this high level statement of easier to deal with and flipped it into um, men taking advantage of women, basically, of uh, women being gullible as well. So she's kind of slapping down both sexes at the same time, um, which is a shame. Because now there are men my age that try to approach me and I have to actively withhold the urge to spit on them. But younger me would have just died over them. And it was for stupid reasons like, oh my God, he's so cool and mature. He has his own apartment. He should, he's 30. I just thought that was such a sign of maturity and being like a real grown up. But those men were cream of the turds. Just very unimpressive, but I thought that them having like, you know, good jobs was a sign of them being real adults and they were just little immature baby boys. So yeah, those men are almost always losers. Still think it's gross, but now I, I, I see the logic. I think just working back from the things she said there, so the, the phrase that some women who appear to be quite bitter like this, um, using the words gross or creepy when describing older men dating, women um it's a label that generally strikes fear in men they don't want to be branded these things um and it, it does work it does scare a lot of men and brand them but if i was advising some guys i would just say don't be worried by that um i think deeper down what's going on here is she feels threatened by the competition of younger women um, and she's probably not getting the dating prospects that she would like um, I think actually the top she was wearing was quite nice and maybe she's just come off of a date that hasn't gone well. Um, that was my other observation and she's decided to have a bit of a, 
a rant at the world. Some of the things that she described as signs of not being mature, such as uh, owning your own place or owning a house or doing well in your career, um, I think actually they are great signs of maturity in a guy. Um, certainly a good start anyway. Um, and so the opposite of having your own place or your own house is a house share, sharing a room or homeless or living in a hostel. I'd say those aren't really mature things in a man. So unfortunately she uh, seems to be uh, on war with the world and dating. No one wants to date me. No one wants to date me. It's official. I've come to an age where I'm undesirable. No one wants me. And here's the thing. At first I was sad and woe is me. No one wants to date me. No one wants to be with me. Blah, I'm unwanted. I'm undesirable. And then I thought to myself, wait, this is a superpower. Because I'm undesirable, because no one wants to date me and be with me, I don't give a fuck. I don't have to p please anyone. I don't have to act a certain way. I have to be a certain person. I can just be me, say anything to them. Within reason, I'm not going to be rude, of course. I'm going to be kind. But I don't have to try to impress anyone. If you are approaching your dating properly, you are not acting or trying to be someone else. And for me, this is a real shame because it sounds like she has generated an excuse and is hiding behind it because the alternative is to say what she said at the start of the video, which is that she is undesirable um, and that nobody wants her. That is a shame, I'm not reveling in that, but to just accept that at face value sounds like it's a bit too much for this lady here. And so by inventing um, an ego protection excuse is, is a way to live with it. Um, I'm not getting results with dating because I have to act and be someone that I'm not. That's the excuse. Um, and maybe maybe that will make her feel better uh, in the short term. I'm not sure about the long term. It's kind of freeing. Woohoo, single unwanted girl. Well, if she is off to join the women going their own way movement, then I do hope it works out for her genuinely. If she's got the money and the time um, and the options and the confidence to travel or do whatever she wants, then then that's great and I hope that is genuinely what she wants and that it is the right decision for her um, long term. Now, several of my guy mates, that is the right choice for them. They are not good at relationships. It's not something they want to do. Um, they are far happier being single um, and it's a decision they've made and it has lasted the test of time with no regrets. And I hope it is the case for this lady here as well. Um, certainly in my own life experience, I know I've made concrete cast iron decisions um, and then later I, my feelings have changed about them over time as I've just got older and had different perspectives. Um, so I hope for her that she doesn't regret um, the decision of going it alone. For example, when I was in my 20s, a guy would say, yeah, you know, like, I just need time. I cannot be in a serious relationship with you right now. And I would go for it and I would entertain this man. If a man comes today and says, hey, I'm not ready for a serious relationship. It's like, babe, you're 30. The hairline is going back. Like, what else do you need time for? So I quickly had to realize that I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time single. So she's looking at the world through a woman's eyes where age brings a decline in physical appearance. And for most men, it, it doesn't. Um, the age she's citing there, 30, um, many men are just getting going on their lives. And actually from an appearance and a look point of view, our 30s can be our best years. When it comes to dating, men and women are not on the same timescales. Women, if they do want a family, are on much shorter timescales. They need to quickly find a man that they can settle with, that they feel is gonna be suitable for family and raising against uh, the needs of their own biological clock. Men, on the other hand, we can settle pretty much whenever we want um, and start a family much later. Now, again, not that advisable for a bloke to be in his 50s or 60s starting families, but still, we are not on the same timescales. I think another behavior that uh, we've seen there that I don't think is great is the guilt tripping of men to commit. So you could see there that she was saying, um, you know, come on, you're 30, what do you need to think about? And I think deep down, this lady is quite in tune with her biological clock, the time, and maybe even her appeal on the uh, market of sexual attractiveness and dating. Um, but yeah, just a shame just to see the guilt tripping behavior.
I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. And in that three years, I have spent most of my days figuring out how I can become physically, mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough to be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math and it it does not work out. I am not young enough or fertile enough or financially stable enough to even do another round of IVF and at 36 like I'm sorry like you're gonna say like you have time like I don't this for me is the hardest hitting video and really shows the consequences of age and pregnancy and wanting to have children and, and unfortunately not being able to do so. Um, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, again, I don't revel in people being upset, um, no matter how responsible she is for her own her own situation. Um, it is. It's, it's just sad. It's just really hard to watch, actually. And I think also, um, especially with many of my friends going through IVF, it's, it's not a situation you want to put yourself in um, un unless you've got some genetic fertility disorder, um, which a lot of people don't. You're, when you're using IVF, what you're really saying is I've left it too late and we're both struggling to conceive and we now need the latest support from medical science to try and get pregnant. Um, yeah, fertility drops massively um, for women from the age of 29, 30, and it falls off a cliff from the age of 35. Um, it's, it's not a position you want, you want to be in at all because you really are in last chance saloon um, and opening yourself up to a variety of risks as well for the baby. Because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work when I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources or the community. And it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex-husband that were viable. And they're just gone now. And my future... My future with those children and my life as a mother is just, it's gone. And it's not just that it's gone, it's the fact that it was decided for me by so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me, because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. I think the biggest issue that I have with this clip just there is she's age 36 and not taking any accountability for the situation she finds herself in or any responsibility for her actions. Um, simply don't know the context of the ex-husband and divorce and IVF in terms of the sequencing of that. Um, were they married, happy couple and trying IVF because they've just left it too late? or was she divorced and then starts IVF with the permission from the husband or ex-husband? Um, or was it that he didn't give permission for those embryos to be used for IVF? We, we simply don't know. Um, but to imply, um, well, actually directly blame others and situations except herself um, just, doesn't, just doesn't wash with me at all. Um, other people and situations can definitely hinder your life. Uh, they can make things more difficult. Um, but ultimately, late at night, when you're sat in a situation you find yourself in that you'd rather not be, I would always blame myself. I would, and it, and that is true. It, it is, it is, it is it. You where you are with your life right now, that is entirely down to you. Other people can help or hinder, but whatever, it's it's on you. Life is on you. Um, yeah, I would have loved to find out a bit more context for this one, but 
Yeah, that's quite a shocking statement from her. Now, I do like my facts, figures and societal trends. So I went off researching about IVF um, because it is an indicator of where we are in society, especially with dating. Um, and so uh, in Australia, the use of IVF clinics is growing by around 16% year on year. Um, so they're definitely becoming more and more popular. Um, and also in regards to how do we know single women are using IVF because they don't have a partner, they're not dating. Um, sperm donations is obviously how it happens. And in the state of Victoria, uh, the demand for sperm donations is outstripping supply by three to one. So for every three women that want um, a quality sperm donation, there's only one that is available in the state of Victoria in Australia. And therefore two women have to wait um, for another viable uh, healthy sperm donor to come along. So that just shows the demand um, that single women wanting to use IVF is in this current day and age. Is that a good thing? Is that, is that where we want our society to be? Um, if we were interviewing the women who are using these IVF clinics, is that, is that where they wanted to be? Is that what they planned um, to happen for their life? Is that how they wanted to uh, conceive children and, and have a family um, topic for another day? But that is it. So if you enjoyed my analysis and take and trying to make sense of these hot topics and themes in dating right now with women hitting the wall and age, and if you enjoyed it, then please do subscribe to the channel so that I know that you like this type of content and my uh, take on this. Um, yeah, please subscribe. And that means that I will see you more on the channel, which is great. But until the next video and another time, I will see you in the next video.